Hello and welcome to this short video in the series of videos showing how to format TMAs. In this video I'm going to look at the importance of using word counts correctly in assignments. I'm going to look at why word counts are important and give examples of how to reduce the number of words you use. But if you want to know how to get the word count in Word and add that information to your TMA then you can access a very short video showing just that right here. The instructions for this TMA state you must provide a word count for each question or question part where a limit is specified. So why are word counts important? Well for some questions you may actually lose marks although this will be stated in the question instructions. Another reason is discussed in the assessment guide. The guide gives you some useful advice about how word counts can help to ensure you don't miss out details in your answers. Writing too little in an answer to a TMA question can reduce your chances of gaining the full amount of marks available. If you've been given a word count of say 500 words and you answer it in a lot fewer words then you've probably missed out some information. If you can show you understand the topic in say 200 out of a potential 500 words that's great. However, unless you are an exceptional writer, you should consider the possibility that you've not included all the facts required. It's also important not to pad your work to meet a word limit. Markers can easily see when someone has used long or repetitive sentences to artificially inflate the word count of an answer. And you'll often be penalised for this. If your answer goes over the word count limit, how can you reduce the number of words without losing some of the meaning? First of all, simplify your style. Look for long sentences and try to make them more succinct. This will make your work easier to read as well as reducing your word count. And be ruthless, cut out unnecessary adjectives or adverbs as well as any repetition that isn't essential to your argument. You're not writing a novel. Replace phrases that contain empty words. For instance, there's no need to write the vast majority when you could just say the majority. Here are some examples of phrases that contain redundant words. In technology you might see phrases such as 4G is the new innovation. Well innovation means it's new. And today's modern technology is truly a thing of the future. Well today's technology means it is modern and anything that's in the future doesn't actually exist yet. And we see some phrases so often that we fail to notice how ridiculous they are when we really think about them. How often do we see things like added bonus? Examples of tautology include how we use acronyms. GPS system stands for global positioning system system and pin number personal identification number number. And I like what this article says about weasel words. It challenges us to eliminate some thoughtlessly used words and phrases from our writing. An example of using weasel words is this phrase. Or a phrase like... That uses three weasel words. And writing to a word limit is not easy, but it is a skill you can learn. You will be expected to use that skill in most jobs that require you to communicate in writing, reports to colleagues and line managers, for example. That is why you've been given the opportunity to improve your writing skills in TM111. Here again is the link to the video about how to set up and use the word count in Word if it's not already showing in your copy of the programme. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.